It has been calculated that if you took all 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth and removed all the empty space in between their atoms, the entire human race would fit into a single cube of sugar. Let that sink in. So much for a solid world. Albert Einstein himself said, Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. What he meant is that the physical world is an illusion. The hidden truth of reality is that this is a universe built on pure energy, pure consciousness. It only appears and feels solid because that's how our brains are programmed to perceive and sense it. Yet this consciousness has no physical boundaries, it is intimately interconnected everywhere. But despite this knowledge that has been written about in countless ancient mystical texts and proven time and time again by modern science, we continue to behave as if it wasn't true. We continue to use the old paradigm model of a physical universe when trying to change the world and fix its problems. Fight against poverty, fight against environmental destruction, fight against animal cruelty, fight against corrupt politicians, fight against injustice and hatred. And yet we don't realize that our very fighting is helping to perpetuate these problems. Because we live in a purely energetic, consciousness-based universe. And when you fight against any problem or injustice with anger and resistance in your heart, your consciousness is literally seeding the energy field of humanity with negative contracted energy. So while you may seem to be helping on the physical front and what you are fighting for may improve, there will be no ultimate resolution because the energetic seed you planted will be alive and it will unite with energy of its kind from around the world and necessitate the manifestation of new problems. Because that's how reality actually works. Consciousness literally creates physical reality. Your state of consciousness along with everyone else's on the planet is what is creating our planet's future moment by moment. But the vast majority of people have been miseducated and misinformed. They're fighting for a better world on the physical front, but their underlying consciousness is serving as the blueprint for more injustice and more problems to be born into the world. And it's a vicious cycle that won't end until we wake up to the truth. The truth is that no amount of fighting and protesting and campaigning will create real lasting change as long as there's anger and hatred and resistance in our hearts. We've been down this futile path for endless centuries. One problem solved, and a new one springs in its place, necessitated by the negative energy that solved the first one. When will we realize that there has to be a better way? Well, that better way was actually proven to us four decades ago, but no one took notice. In 1978, a scientifically controlled study was conducted on a group of 7,000 meditators who meditated for three weeks in a state of love and peace. What happened next was absolutely stunning. It was discovered that during this period, global crime rates dropped by 16%. Global suicides and car accidents also dropped. Most astonishing of all, there was a 72% decrease in global terrorist activity. Stop and think about that for a moment. The entire world literally changed because of a group of a mere 7,000 meditators who stayed in coherence and a higher state of consciousness. A state of love and peace. And this shocking result occurred precisely because we don't live in a physical universe. These powerful waves of love and peace were felt subconsciously by the entire collective consciousness of humanity and affected mass behavior without people even realizing it. And so it's time for us to wake up to these hidden truths about our reality. It's time for us to drop the old paradigm that tells us the world will change by fighting for change. And it's time to embrace the new paradigm that empowers each and every single one of us to change the world in a real and lasting way. Through the incredible power of our consciousness, there are no limits to your power when you align to a more truthful view of the world you live in. The love that you feel in your heart is an actual power that you have. It's literally the most powerful force on earth. This is not a cliche. You've just been conditioned to believe that it has no real effect. But we've seen that his power is absolutely world changing. And one person, you, has unlimited amounts of it to plant as seeds in the collective consciousness. So start this very moment. Close your eyes, open your heart and send love to the world. Feel the peace and let your consciousness abide there. Every single second that you do this literally rewrites our planet's future with a new energetic blueprint. And then if you're meant to take some physical action to help the world, it'll be spontaneously inspired by love and it will be infinitely more powerful than that which is fueled by righteous anger. 
Love can lead to courageous, assertive action. It does not mean being passive. And even without physical action, you're helping to change the world on a foundational, energetic level that actually creates reality. You are the superhero and savior you've been waiting for. You just didn't know it.